I'm Gerd Leonhardt. I'm a futurist. I live in Switzerland. As a futurist, I help companies understand the key things that are going to happen in the next five to seven years. Something I like to say a lot is that science fiction is really becoming science fact. The things that have kept the limit on change, the size of a chip or the speed of the network, those things will all be removed. We'll have uh, 5G, LTE, or whatever beyond imagination connectivity of a terabyte per second. We'll have virtually unlimited computing power in the mobile phone. Hyperconnectivity really is a word for connectivity like air. So essentially, to connect to data and to the network becomes like breathing in a way. Today, for example, if you're a doctor, you're making the rounds in the hospital, you have to have information with you, the files, or maybe maybe a pad, you know, a tablet. But in the future, this information travels with you. All of the world's information about the particular disease or oncology, whatever you're doing, right at your fingertips in an augmented virtual reality bubble. It's like being a super doctor. And imagine a world to where language is no longer a barrier. If you're married into a Chinese family, in the future you're basically speaking to a, an app or an earpiece and they will be hearing you real time. It's literally no longer going to matter where exactly you are working from. You're actually making a sort of a digital copy of yourself and going off to Singapore for a meeting. So when 8 billion people can do this, you, know, you can only imagine the possibilities that we will have. Entertainment is the other thing, right? Literally every TV show known to man, every movie, every commercial, every piece of media, every podcast, every book will be available on demand by just saying that you want to see it. That's going to change the world of education, of entertainment, of creation, because the options will be limitless. Our capacity of taking information uh, will be dwarfed by what machines can do for us. But our hearts and minds are not of that nature. Our hearts and minds are limited by our body. That will be really important for us to keep that part alive, right? to keep the part of that we feel as humans, which is not really just a data. You know, how do we stay human? This is the key question, of course, in technology. What is the purpose of doing this? And the purpose should be human happiness. It should not be just profit and growth, which is part of happiness, uh, admittedly. Right? It should serve a larger purpose, which is to help us be better humans. As I like to say, technology is not what we seek, but how we seek.